Hey, how are you today? How's it going? How's the event? They, um, how do you find the event? Uh, I think uh, this is the second uh, event of this nature that I've attended. Um, and, um, and I think as usual, this is a great place where systems gets together people from international uh, the leading uh, sort of players and relevant players from the industry, uh, whether it's banking or non-banking. Um, and there is an exchange of ideas. So every time there's something new which is coming up, yeah. and obviously um, this year's prime theme appears to be AI and you know how we're adopting AI in the industry in Pakistan. Exactly. And do you, did you find any of the discussions insightful? I mean, the key, major key trends that we're talking about. I, I think about, right? key insights. Uh, I, I think uh, there was, uh, you know, the pure digital banks, mm -hmm. which have been born in digital mm -hmm. and are 100% digital. Uh, listening to them, they have a slightly different set of challenges uh, and opportunities. Yeah. Um, and I think there's, there's, there's lessons as the leading bank, uh, you know, that we can share with them. And similarly, understand from their experiences. So again, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that that collaboration, partnership and interaction that this forum allows uh, is is insightful for uh, for all of us because we're usually um, so busy in day to day yeah. uh, that we do not get that time to, to actually sit. It's great to come together. Absolutely. And just talk Absolutely. About. Uh, plus the team was very good. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> So you just had a great session on AI and AI-driven packing organization. So what key challenges and opportunities do you foresee for this industry? So I think, uh, you know, um, uh, I, I think as I mentioned earlier, to me, the biggest thing um, is the culture. And that is something that we are very obsessed with mm -hmm. uh, because we can get the technology yeah. in and we do have the technology, but the adoption and the continuation and the expansion those are things that really have to be driven, yeah. not just top down, because the moment you take your eye off the ball, they'll be left. But it has to also be brought in by, by, by putting a team together and by upskilling and reskilling your team. Absolutely. And with this evolving scheme, how do you envision customer expectations evolve as AI becomes more integrated into packing processes? I think the customer interactions are going to become much, much more easier. Banking is going to become very seamless for the customer because wherever you put in humans, you're add, adding friction to the process. Whenever a human is handing off to some another human, there's even more friction. And a particular transaction in a manual environment takes at least three, four, five people to accomplish. At the same time, when you use AI and you use AI-enabled bots, you know, then it's 24 by 7 by 365. You have a way different environment. The, the risk, though, is on the regulatory side. Yeah. Because in a manual environment, you know, you may make mistake on one transaction mm -hmm. or two or five. Uh, but if something happens in the bot and goes yeah. abnormal, you could lose hundreds and yeah. thousands of transactions that don't get processed correctly. So it is important to have, you know, there are right safeguards. Uh, and every time there's a system change or a patch which is uh, put on, you need to do a very robust UAT to make sure that your system and your AI continues to operate the way that it was planned to. I'm hoping that this ad comes into actuality and thank you so much for speaking. No, it's it's been a pleasure and thank you for having me.